Hey guys, Thomas Lang here. Uh, I'm here with a very good old friend of mine, uh, Riccardo Merlini. Riccardo is an Italian drummer uh, from Rovigo in Veneto in Italy. Uh, and uh, he's an incredible drum set player, but also has developed a very unique, super fast hand technique, which is unlike anything you've seen. Ricardo is here today um, with us at Drum Channel to break down his technique, explain how he discovered this new way of playing and what kind of exercises he used to do, what kind of warm-ups. I'm gonna be taking a, a little mini lesson from you. Thank you for being here. Guys, check out these lessons with Ricardo. I'm sure uh, it's gonna blow your mind, just like it blows all our minds here at Drum Channel. Thank you, guys. Have fun. So now I'd like to explain you a little bit of the background behind the technique. I was messing around many years ago trying to improve my hand speed. I wasn't able to play faster than 90 BPM, basically stuff like that. So pretty basic stuff. But as I said, I was messing around, like trying to figure out a way to improve myself and getting faster. Uh, I was starting uh, playing with fingers technique, like this kind of thing. But honestly, it wasn't the best choice, in my opinion, because you will need a, a rebound surface like that. It wasn't the right choice, especially when you're trying this kind of thing on softer surfaces like floor toms or, or eye hats or whatever. So, but also, it's pretty dangerous for your tendons when you're pulling in this way, trying to increase the speed more than your uh, natural limit. As you can see, especially with my left hand, I'm not really able to play with this technique. But, as you can see, I naturally start this motion, which is basically the secret that I found messing around in the early age of my you know, career as a drummer. I basically noticed that while I was pulling with the fingers and rotating, a little bit the wrist, twisting the wrist in, the, in this direction. Look. While I was using the fingers technique, I've noticed that moving my hand on the side in this way, I've basically unlocked a natural motion, basically twisting the wrist in this way. But always connected with the, with the finger motion as well. So it's not a full rotation motion of the wrist, but it's a half rotation like that. But the fingers are always connected. So I'm not pulling anymore, just with the fingers. Once I figured out the way to develop the technique, it took me about two weeks to reach the level that I am right now. So bare hands training is always the best choice, in my opinion, to start this new journey. 